taking two videos off the internet tonight due to personal family usage. <laughs> Some drama shit. I did this video as a reply to those two videos. And this video I had done during the recording of the video, all hell broke loose. And I, uh, I mentioned this in the very last video on that. And I debated with my nephew last night about how I'm supposed to do my videos. And he was telling me, he said, man, look the camera up. You film it, then you upload it. And I tried to point out to my nephew that when I upload videos, I don't have six hours or four hours to have my video sitting there while it's scrutinized, whether it's copyrighted or not. You see a man in front of the camera just like this. Unless my hairline is copywritten, unless this painting is copywritten, unless this chair I'm sitting in, because you cannot see it's copywritten, there's no reason for it to take an hour or more to upload a 10 minute video. Back in the days when we had slower computers and we downloaded movies, you could download a two hour movie in four hours. You couldn't watch them off the internet. So, now, at this point in my arrested ass career, my life, everything I've ever done, knowing that I'm near the end, knowing that I'm near the end, I can only come to one conclusion, and the conclusion is this. The internet sucks. The internet sucks because of all that we get from the internet, the internet really doesn't give us what we need. We need that um, security. And they're trying to make us scared to get on the internet because cyber this, cyber that, cyber this, cyber that. If the United States military used the internet for, say, 10 years before we got it, 15 years before we got it, don't you think they put cell fail safes in there for us? So we're all finna switch to digital. Maybe a digital signal could be beamed into the human head. I don't know. Maybe a digital signal could be manipulated to the point where it could carry other waves that can be penetrated through the TV, through the retina. What if changing the signal to digital is the cloaking device they need to flim flam us the rest of the way? Could you let him out, please? Because he's whining and crying, please. Let him run around the yard till he pass out and go to sleep. scared to death because I I know it'll keep me alive to watch all of you die and then they'll force me to talk about it and they'll twist my words to shape the new future of the world because other people out there don't have the guts to speak up when they see something wrong and some people are going to think, because you see my eyes moving there, to figure out what I'm going to think, what I'm going to say. If I look up this way, I'm lying about something. Up and to the left, you're lying. And up and to the right, you're thinking, they say. You can study a million people. It's just that one person who's left-handed or right-handed and change the way your philosophy is built. If I can judge the next person by looking at his eyes and a book tells me he looks to the left, he's lying, he looks to the right, he's telling the truth. Look strapped in the middle, he's praying to God. Who am I gonna believe, the book or the person in front of me? I'm not the most handsome man on planet Earth. 
I'm not the ugliest. I'm not, my, I'm not the smartest man on the planet. Right? I'm not the dumbest. But what I am on the planet of the earth that no other man can say right now. Because he ain't gonna say it till after I say it first. I'm about the realest person that ever walked the planet. I don't need, but I have to have. I don't want, but I don't need. I live. Period. If I still lose everything, I still have the wisdom and the knowledge to continue with nothing. Period. I once watched a show about a little yellow submarine four musicians and a band leader. They come across a nowhere man who helped them to get to the land they needed to get to. I am that nowhere man from nowhere but from everywhere. And people say, once you find out who you are in life, then your whole goal is to let the world know who you are. I am a philosopher, just like the ones who lived thousands of years ago. My voice has not been stopped because I have found out who I am. My mother once told me I can get you a book, but I can't make you read it. I can buy you clothes, and I can't make you wear them. And the oldest one in the book. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. If knowledge is power, and I'm seeking all power, I'll stop all others from having knowledge, thus giving myself all power. And if you are not the one seeking all power, then you are the one that people are keeping power from. I said once in the video, you must capture your killer before your killer kills you. To capture this killer, you must know how he's killing you. You must know how you're being manipulated. I can't tell you how you're being manipulated, but I can sit back and think about how I am. If I skip around a trap and I say, hey, look at that over there, that means you can't walk into the same trap that I've showed you is there. Even though I skipped around telling you where the trap is. Those who have the mind to understand where the trap is can see. I tell you that the trap is right there. You turn the wheel on. And you can see for yourself. Those who want to try to fix the air up. Fix it. I need to cut all this. Or give me a line. Line me up like Wayne Brady. Take me from ear to ear. Basically, the bottom line is this. If you can't respect yourself to build a ramp to the future, you'll be jumping. I say you'll be jumping in the Grand Canyon. There's a hump that you can't dig under. There's something you can't fly over. And there's this one thing you have to go straight through. I can't tell you which one is in front of you, which one's below you, which one's beneath you, and which one's above you. But the one that is holding you back, you have to find it. Tell everybody about it. And then you tell them to pass it on.